Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at other investments and how to diversify your portfolio with gold, silver, cryptocurrencies, other metals, other commodities, and cover things like where do I buy these items and do I just go out and buy some silver and then put it under my mattress? So let's take a look at that. Before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to Malone Money Mindset. He commented on my video last week and I started looking at some of his videos and uh, he recently reached a milestone of over 100 subscribers, so congrats on that. And he had a giveaway, he wanted to give back to his community, so he had a raffle and so he had a video about his contest, so check that there. And then he had a follow up video which uh, got those comments on his previous video and found a winner and so actually I ended up winning his contest uh, and there was a for a silver coin so I thought I'd open it up here this is I just got this today and let's see what I got um, is it the one that I mentioned in my comment in his video or is it something else well we'll, we'll find out so let's see here and I don't know if I can open this package correctly. This is uh, my first unboxing. Uh, the pressure is on. Okay, so let's see. Got some some things here. Um, oh, cool. Hey, Market Scraper. Thanks so much for your support on my channel. I had a blast with this, with this giveaway, and I hope you can enjoy this coin. I appreciate you as a viewer, and I hope you continue to enjoy the content on the channel. Please feel free to share my content to anyone you feel would find value in the content on my channel. Thanks again for your support. I hope this giveaway is a start of many more to come. Hope you have a great day. Best regards. Anthony Malone Money Mindset. Awesome. Well, thanks man. And then let's see uh, this coin here. Okay, this is... Uh, a very elegant uh, unboxing here. <laughs> okay, let's uh, a few more layers here, and then voila! Let's check this out. So on this side we have some queen. I assume Elizabeth, maybe the second, maybe the th anyway, <laughs> and then we have. It's the Lion King coin. It's the, the Australian 25th Lion King anniversary. Pretty cool. So check that out. Really awesome. And so I'd like to talk about um, silver too. Is silver a good investment? And why might it be worth a consideration to invest in gold, silver, other commodities, and which one to choose though? There's so many different metals out there. Even there's uh, palladium, platinum, um, copper. So which one to choose? I like to ask the same question for whether it's metals or even cryptocurrencies. And they both kind of serve a similar purpose. Let's say as a hedge to the stock market or a hedge to um, peace. <laughs> for geopolitical tensions, trade wars, um, conflict, things like that, uncertainty. In general, cryptocurrencies have been, um, there hasn't been so much data to, to show that this is true, but general cryptocurrencies and uh, gold, silver, and other, other precious metals increase in those circumstances. So other scenarios as well as when the stock market crashes, generally, gold and silver does increase, at least that's the theory. That doesn't always, it's not always how it plays out though, because if you look back in the 2008 crash, stocks crashed, housing crashed, gold and silver went, uh, no, they crashed. Silver crashed really hard. Um, as hard as the stock market, if not, if not a lot more. Um, so why did it crash then? I thought the stocks crashed, that's, that silver would go up. And even what crashed even more was that um, the miners crashed even more because um, they crashed because they are stocks 
And also they crashed because Silver was crashing. So why is that the case, though? There could be some anomalies and that, that there were some factors that didn't um, hold true there. Um, but they at the same time, one could point to that they, they did recover very quickly. And then they soon got to their highest points in recent history after that as well, especially when quantitative easing started to be introduced. So there's a lot of different factors, but in general, when stocks go down, and they usually go down for uncertainty, geopolitical strife, things like that, and gold and silver generally go up in, in, during those times, and that's what we've been seeing uh, recently. So how do you pick your metal or your cryptocurrency? Well, I like to look at either case. Um, what is its value and its utility? And try to think of which one's going to be used more. So like if you look at the cryptocurrency, which is most widely used? Well, maybe Bitcoin. But then the second thing you might want to look at is which is most viable in the future in terms of if I want to buy something, which can reliably and quickly make that transaction in a reasonable time. Maybe Ethereum, maybe some other altcoins. So you want to look at those things and not just go for just some fad. Maybe that would work in the short short term, definitely. But I uh, might want to look into what the long term prospects are for cryptocurrencies. Also for metals, what does gold and silver and platinum do? And why would people want to buy these things? Well, they are all at least gold and silver definitely was used as a currency and has always been used for currencies and for trading. So that's one use case for gold and silver. Another use case is that they are used for fashion, tradition, rings, uh, jewelry, necklaces, these kind of things. And the third use case is that they have a utility purpose. Silver definitely, and to a lesser extent, but uh, definitely gold as well, they're used in electronics, machinery, and things like that. So they're needed for industries. And another interesting thing about that is that if you have a metal like palladium that's really expensive right now, and it's used in cars and things like that, if it gets way overpriced, are people gonna look for an alternative, maybe like platinum? And is platinum a viable alternative? Uh, is it a lot cheaper to purchase? And so those are interesting things to look into and, and know about that so that if one is undervalued and one is overvalued, maybe uh, looking into the undervalued one. So that's the starting point of looking into metals and cryptocurrencies to find out which ones you might be interested in choosing. Another way to invest in um, commodities and especially gold and silver is through companies that mine and produce these materials. So for gold, gold miners, companies that mine, literally mine gold out of the ground, and they usually follow the price of the metal, but in addition, they follow their, their finances if they're uh, doing a lot, if they're hitting their revenues, if they're exceeding revenues on their financial reports, so they do fluctuate with the business itself. In addition, if gold, the price of gold doubles, obviously that mine is going to be so much more profitable, so usually if the price of gold doubles, mining will, du will do a lot more than just doubling. And what's the best way to invest in these things? Well, one could just go buy lots of gold and silver and store it under their bed and am I going to store this guy under my pillow or my mattress? Well, the thing is, is that if you just buy a lot of silver, metal is really heavy. So if you want to move or, or store it in your house, you're going to... Um, start accumulating a lot, you might want a nice safe, and if you don't have a safe, where you're going to hide it, and then you're going to have to lug it some places, so uh, you can also have, um, you can have companies store your gold or silver, but then that costs money, so a great way that uh, I personally, the way I invest in gold and silver is through ETFs, so ETFs that track the spot price of gold and silver, and then also ETFs that track gold miners, silver miners, and things like that. So I don't have to lug and hold gold around all the time. So what are the benefits of having your own gold and silver if you can have an ETF that follows the price of gold, therefore not having to pay someone to store your gold, or not having to have a save for worrying about somebody coming to steal your gold or silver, 
or what have you. So the benefit of having gold and silver at your own house or in a safe or some some location, right, um, is that if everything just hits the fan and the financial markets collapse, you lose all your money in your banks, you lose all your money in your stocks, and what else do you have? Well, now you have gold and silver, and then that's going to be able to be a good means and probably become very valuable, extremely valuable to be able to trade because that's going to be the financial means that people are need, going to need to use probably at that point. Uh, other commodities are going to be very valuable, seeds, water, oil, anything like that. So, but you just have to basically pick the game that you're going to play. If you're going to bet that that's the world that we're going to live in in your lifetime, for example, if you thought that there was a 5% chance that this is our future, then should you bet on the 95% chance and invest in a certain, a certain way and not uh, um, run the risk of having all this physical uh, metals or paying the fees for it to be stored somewhere or the investment of having a safe? So yeah, choose if you want to invest in the more likely scenario. Well, let me know what you think about that. All right, so if we also look at this chart for silver, we recently broke out of a long-term downward trend, and that's pretty exciting. And clearly, we just shot up and we got overextended here, uh, well overextended, and so we're having a slight correction, and we're clearly trying to break out of this new downward trend here, and this is a pretty interesting convergence that's happening because we also have a pretty uh, high, high level of support that's uh, coming into play. So I'm interested to see if we break out to the upside. And if we do break out to the upside, does that mean we're going to retest the high over here, which was around $19.50? So that's an increase of almost $2 from today's uh, price of silver. So that's pretty exciting. Let me know where you think silver might be going in the near future and also what uh, precious metals or cryptocurrencies that you're interested in uh, looking into or maybe you've already invested in. And just a friendly reminder that these videos are for your informational and entertainment purposes only. Thanks for watching.